Hi everyone, I'm Karthik Singer. I'm a clarity and confidence coach. So, I'm going to share with you all my experience and things I have been through after I graduate from my nursing college, what happened and how I actually I find my path right now. So, I think this video is especially for those who are freshly graduated because I believe you are struggling to find the right job with a good pay. And you have to understand the beginning of all the process or journey it's going to be very very difficult and the main thing that you have to remember is you have to start the journey you have to move forward even though you feel like i'm not ready i'm not going to do this but the key is you have to keep moving forward you have to step on one stepping stone step first and then you have to figure out where you want to go where you don't want to go and what you have to do in order for you to reach the destination that you wanted. We all have a dream destination, a goal that we want to be and we want to achieve. But the question is whether the goal is belong to you or you trying to get the goal because people around you is pressuring you. Number 2. Are you really confident that this is the goal that you want? So you have to be very very sure whether you want this or not or you're just doing this for people around you because most of us we all have this um dream whereby I want to get this I want to get that not because we want that but it's because society's pressure because people around us told us our life will be better if we get this but you have to understand you are unique you are amazing and you have something different and you are not others and others are not you what makes others happy and successful might not make you happy and successful so this is the thing after i graduate from nursing college i should actually get a job from the government but so sad i didn't get the offer so i was technically jobless for one year so during this one year i told myself i don't want to be a nurse at a hospital i would rather be anything else but not as a nurse and i know i have to do something if i want to uh, reject that offer from any hospital i must have a solid job a job that could help me to become better and help me to be the person that i wanted all right so since i have a diploma in nursing no one is ready to offer me a job no one is willing to take me in because i'm in a medical side you know health department and i can't work in a um in any office or whatever apart from medical line it was so hard for me to step out from the health department and go into a different department so what i did was i didn't wait i just started i become a barista at public guide press and my most my first salary was 1500 so once i settled down over there for a few months i got a offer to be a freelance nurse it means i have to take care a patient at their house so i don't have to work in hospital and i have can do the things that i want and it's more to one to one with the patient which is i really love i'm still doing that until now so first job was barista 1500 and my second job was as a freelance nurse and the starting salary was 2800 and it was very hard in the morning i'll be working as a nurse 8 to 3 and 6 pm to 12 pm I'll be working as a barista. I have to work like this so that I have a good amount of money so that I can stop being a barista and find a place or home to stay and I can be the freelance nurse that I wanted. Because when when I work as a barista, they provide me a hostel. I don't want to lose that. So I was trying to do this both work and save some money and I when I'm ready to move out I just did that and I become a full-time freelance nurse. And my second case was at PJ and at that time I was staying at Sungai Besi. So I have to travel for 2 hours using the public transport to reach PJ at 8 p.m. I was on night shift. So I have to work 12 hours, 6 or 7 days per week if I want to get a good amount of salary. And I my my salary was around 3200 no off day. Since I was so exhausted with that kind of lifestyle, I changed to another patient, which was 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 
and at time at that time I was staying at Shalom, so I have to travel to Subang Jaya. So one bus, one KTN, one Elatri. So I have to use these three things so that I can reach at Subang at eight a.m. And I have to walk from that Elatri to my patient's house for fifteen minutes, and I don't want to pay for the grab because I don't want to waste my money so much. So yes, I'll be walking, walking, walking to reach my place, my patient's house. So once I'm done with that, and finally I got a good offer nearby me at Shalom, which around 30 minutes. But yes, at that time I was using Grab because I don't have to use LRT and KTM, so I was willing to pay for the Grab. And my salary with my last patient was 4,000, but I have to work for 12 hours to 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. or 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. or six and seven days per week. So my my total salary will be four thousand. So when I was working as a freelance nurse, I was trying so hard to be a cabin crew at the same time because I know that I can't be doing this job forever because my parents will probably will get mad or disappointed with me, and I don't want to do that. Because they actually gave me space and time to find a career, a job that I wanted and allow me to be myself. So I have to find a good job that would actually make them happy and I feel happy too. So that was the main reason I choose a cabin crew. Because apart from cabin crew, I don't think so anyone could give me a job with my diploma in nursing. I think airline was the only industry that they can uh, absorb me and I can get a good pay also. So I became a cabin crew when I was 23, I would say, 23 or 24, somewhere around that. So I was cabin crew for two years and then the pandemic come. The pandemic just hit us and then I lost my job. It was so hard in the beginning, but I know the cabin crew is not my ending. Cabin crew was my stepping stone so that I can actually step and then analyze where I want to go, what I have to do this time. Because at that time, I was financially good. And then I have some money to invest in my development so that I can be the person that I wanted. So I wasn't really sure what I want to do at that time. But I was very, very sure that I don't want to be a nurse at the hospital. So that thing was not in my list. I don't want to think about it. So you're very sure what you don't want to do in your life get rid of that from your list and don't think about it never ever even consider about it don't waste your time if you don't want to do that don't do it just put it aside but i i'm still a nurse i'm still a nurse but i'm working as a freelance I'm not working at a hospital so i just made some alteration because nursing is all about skills and you should learn at least one skill so that it could help you during the Hardship, so, you know, when the pandemic hit us, right? I lost my job as a cabin crew, but my, my nursing skills actually helped me to keep moving forward. And luckily, this nursing skill actually helped me until today, and I'm really happy for that. So, my second advice for you is find uh, skills that could help you and then it can be your backup plan and help you to prepare your safety net. If anything goes wrong, you can use the skills and be the person or build the life that you wanted. For example, like me, something goes wrong, I cannot be a cabin crew right now. So this nursing skill helping me to still move forward, become financially independent, pay my fees to become a life coach, pay my bills, all right? so. If your starting salary is very less, my starting salary was what one five, okay? So if your salary is very less and you are like, a, should I take it or not? What you if you're wondering, listen carefully. You have to start. No matter where you are right now, you have to start and move forward. Find your stepping stone first. You have to step, step, step in order for you to reach the destination that you wanted. You have to start. My advice will be for you, just grab it. Listen, this is just the beginning of your journey. It's not the end. You're not going to be there forever if you are not allowing yourself. If you choose to be there forever, then you will be. This is just your first stepping stone. You're just freshly graduated and you are in the learning process. You want to get to know lots of things about yourself, people around you. So use this first job as an ice breaking for you. 
of your first stepping stone to find the actual or suitable career that you wanted, right? Just step first, accept the job first, learn about yourself. What are your qualities, your talent, your strength? Number two, get to know people that could help you to mold you. Number three, know what is lacking within yourself and find some courses or coaches that could help you to improve that. And number four, you will start to recognize the part that you wanted and you will start to really, really sure this is what I want to do and this is, this is not what I want to do. So this is very important for you to get exposure. So your first stepping stone is something going to help you to explore, see so many things and you get to see lots of alternative way to reach the destination that you wanted, okay? The first job will never be the your forever kind of job, so you don't have to worry. If you refuse to start, you just keep on waiting, wait for the best salary, best company, and when are you going to start? If you do that forever, you will be left out because people are moving forward. People are learning lots of skills, getting lots of experience, learning all the time. And you, if you choose to stay there, what are the things that you're gonna learn? Even if you're learning something, are you using what you, have, what you learned? Do you know what you can bring to the table? And do you know how to convince people that this is what I can bring to the table? Can you hire me for this? All these things need time, skills, and you need someone to mold you and help you and bring you to the right people at the right time, at the right place so that you can get the offer that you wanted. So if you think, your first salary is too low, I'm not ready for that, I have lots of uh, um, commitments, I can settle down for this, I need to start with a very good salary so that my future salary will be better and so on. All these are valid. But if you don't start now, then when? If you think with your certificate, with your degree, with your points, whatever it is that, do you think it's enough for you to move forward? There are lots of people outside there fighting for the one spot that you wanted. And how do you think you can get it? Why should people hire you? Why they should pay you for the salary that you wanted? You know, you might say, I'm good with this, I'm good with that. What is the proof? Where is the proof? Evidence. Can I see that? So when you start now, find your first stepping stone. Learn there and show the people what you have within yourself. And this can help you to create a profile so that you can move forward and find the people that can hire you. For example, I'm an, a vaccinator at my PVV right now, and these people actually give me a position as a team leader. And uh, even though I don't like nursing that much, I gave my best. I'm literally good with handling people, crowd, I can talk to with people since, maybe because I was a cabin crew before. So handling the people, handling the clients is something that comes to me naturally. And I don't have to, I don't feel awkward to do that. I, I just love to do that. And the CEO of the hospital offered me a job. They said, you can join us once you're done with this PDV. And I was like, what? So I just realized that all the effort and hardworking I'm doing here it's not a waste. These people are actually seeing my work. It means I'm making impact. He gave me the offer twice and he told me again next time. You can join us once you're done here. Think about it. So it means it doesn't matter where you are right now. You have to use the platform that you have, the opportunity that you have and give your best People will see that. People can feel your impact. People can see your effort. When that happens, you can use this to create the profile, a good profile, experience, gain knowledge, and get a good circle of people that could help you to become the person that you wanted. So in future, if I want to go for any management department, I might ask these people to prepare a letter for me, a cover letter saying that I'm good with this, I can do this. And this can be a supportive document for me for the future if I want to work with any company. So don't doubt yourself. Don't hold yourself. Salary is important. As I told you, the beginning will be very, very hard and difficult. And another thing, absolutely no one 
who is successful right now, they started with a big amount of salary. They all started with something very small. They just start, they just start the journey. They just keep moving forward and look for the alternative way, look for the people, circle, knowledge and skills that could help them to reach the destination that they wanted. So if you choose to wait here, and trust me, everything that you need is already lined up by the universe. It's outside of your comfort zone. It's there. If you want to get what universe already lined up for you, a good job, a good life partner, a good circle of people, you have to become the person who can actually receive that, who can actually take that. If you haven't become the person, you will never ever get that. So are you ready to get what is already there for you? Are you capable enough to get that? Do you have the knowledge, skills, people that can support you to become the person that could receive everything that you knew has already prepared for you? Think about it. So my advice will be for you is start now. Just start. Don't worry. Your beginning is just the starting point. You don't have to stay there forever. We have this problem in our society whereby when we get a job, we have to get the best one so that I can stay there for I will build my empire and I have to get the best house, best car. Nothing wrong with that. But if you want to get it now, it's impossible. Nothing happens overnight. So you have to give yourself some time, some space that yourself can evolve, learn and grow. So if, if you want to get the best job right now, are you capable enough to be the best person to get the best job that you want? Are you capable enough to receive the amount of salary that you wanted? Let's say if you own a company one day and you are hiring a people, will you hire the people who's freshly graduated with the amount of salary that you want right now? Will you do that? So you have to think in that way. So if you're a business owner, will you hire them? With all these criteria that you have, and you have a candidate with all the criteria that you have right now, will you hire them? Or you will probably pay the same amount of salary to someone that have experience and know how to do things. I'm not demotivating you. I want you to keep moving forward. I don't want you to wait for the best thing to come to you, knock at your door, because that's not going to happen. Whatever you want, it's outside your comfort zone and you have to step out and move forward and you will get to see what you wanted, what you deserve on your journey and grab it. The main thing you have to do right now is start. You will know what you want throughout the journey because you will get to see lots of people you will learn. I really hope you gain something today and I'll see you next time with another interesting topic. And yes, if you think you need help with your career and relationship, you know where to find me. Mr. Flock.